Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven and what I would like to do today is explain to you how to manage and organize news and announcements in SharePoint Online. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is how to manage news using the modern pages uh, and that's what you should be using really if you are in SharePoint Online. Uh, but before I do that, I want to explain a little bit of history and explain to you how we did it in the past so you can kind of understand the difference between the old ways and new ways of managing news and announcements. So uh, for, for a minute now, I'm going to navigate to my classic SharePoint site. This is a classic SharePoint site, classic uh, look and feel of, uh, of the SharePoint pages, uh, the wiki pages as we call them. Uh, and uh, as you can see here, I have my classic web part called announcements. So let me click. And this is how we used to manage uh, news and announcements in, uh, in the past. Essentially, uh, announcements uh, is a web part uh, and uh, it's, a cust it's a list, uh, just like a custom list. Uh, it's a web part that is uh, uh, pretty much just rows and columns of information. So anytime you have a, have a new announcement, uh, right, you would uh, typically create a new row in the table you know, fill in the blanks, uh, put certain expiration date, um, and you know, add some attachments. Hit save, and then the announcements uh, announcement will be added to the page. Uh, and that was pretty much it. I mean, of course, because it's a custom list, uh, right? It's I'm sorry, it's a SharePoint list. You can um, add additional metadata, maybe add additional categories of announcements. Um, you know, other columns. Uh, and of course, uh, as any other list, you could also embed it uh, uh, on a SharePoint site. Uh, let me hit to uh, hit home here. So as you can see, here is my announcements module uh, on a SharePoint page. Now this is it. All right, this is uh, uh, you know pretty much how we managed announcements, uh, news and announcements in the past. Uh, there was not uh, too much to it. And, you know, I think you will agree uh, with me, it was pretty, pretty basic and uh, kind of boring. All right. Uh, let me show you how we manage news and announcements uh, using the, uh, in modern SharePoint and SharePoint Online, uh, using the modern page experience. So um, here is an example. Here is an example of one of my uh, department, si uh, department sites, a sales department built in SharePoint Online. Uh, of course, obviously, I'm using the modern page experience. And as you can see here, this is how news are managed uh, in, uh, in, in a modern SharePoint. Uh, let me click. The pretty much the biggest you know, difference here is that the, the major difference here is that every news article you add uh, creates another page. All right, essentially, it's not a row in a table anymore, like with all the announcements uh, web part. It's literally an extra page uh, that is part of your site. All right, as you can see here, I can uh, I have the whole page dedicated to this one piece of news. Uh, now, news um, and the way it works, I mean, essentially, there is a, a new web part that you should use. It's called news, and usually, it's uh, it's added to all the sites that you would create, whether it's a communication site or or um, uh, and Office 365 group team sites, it's usually uh, a part of the template. So it's usually there by default. In case if you don't have it, it's very, very easy, easy to add one. Uh, let me show you. You just uh, edit the page and hit the little plus icon. And if you scroll down, uh, the, the web part you want to use is this one called news. All right. I already have it added. So I'm not going to add it again. But just to show you in case if you need to add it uh, to your page again. Okay, now let me show you a couple of uh, cool things about uh, this uh, web part. So first of all, uh, to add news, uh, you click the add button and you have two choices, uh, news post and news link. What is the difference? Let me start with the new news link because that's the easiest. If you want to, you have a resource somewhere on the web, uh, maybe it's an article from one of the um, you know, media sources, uh, that you found on the web or just some some URL that you have you would want uh, you will would, would want to add a news uh, news link and all it is it just literally asks you to add a link to uh, to a website uh, it could be of course an external website any 
media source, anything that you have on the web. You just literally paste it in and it will add this feed, this, uh, this article into your newsfeed. All right. That's in case if you would just want to reference an existing, uh, an existing article. In case if you want, if you have some own news you want to share, you want to, um, you, you want to type up some uh, of your exciting news and announcements, you would choose news post. And look at this. Uh, as I mentioned previously, it creates a whole separate page, as you can see, a whole separate page uh, dedicated to just one uh, piece of news. So you give it a title. All right. And of course, because we have a page, we have all the elements uh, um, edit, uh, you know, all the, uh, editing privileges that you, you, you have on, uh, on a regular page. All right. You can change the banner or you can eliminate it and add an image. And then of course you can add your, um, web parts, just like any other page. You can change the layout. You can, of course, um, add, uh, images. Let me just, uh, change it to two page layout, even change the section background, uh, add text and images. All right, and I, you get the idea. Now, to publish your news, all you need to do is just hit the post news button and your news are now published. And as you can see, they appear uh, in kind of chronological order, you know, over here on the on the main page. So you see, I had some, uh, some uh, old news posted here and then my exciting news appear over here just because I, and this is by the way, supposed to be the nice colorful image, but because I did not embed an image, I did not use anything for the banner. Uh, that's why it's blank. All right. So that's how you add news to the, uh, news web part. And just to show you kind of behind the scenes, um, uh, where all these news pages reside. If I go to gear icon site contents, and I navigate to site pages. Site pages is the library where all the pages reside. Just like, a, you know, we have a library for documents. Site pages is where all the pages reside. And here you can see all the different pages that I have uh, created in my, uh, in, in my environment. And uh, let me see uh, if I can find uh, the page that we created uh, today. Uh, right here, you see some exciting news. Uh, page, you know, news post that I created, and uh, it it ends up uh, being a separate page with all the other pages that I have in my uh, as part of my SharePoint site. So in case maybe you want to delete, right? Maybe this uh, piece of news is no longer relevant. You just hit delete button, uh, and it goes away, all right? It disappears. Let me show you a couple of other uh, cool things uh, related to this web part. Um, so obviously the ability to to have a dedicated page uh, for the whole. Um, you know, for, for just, you know, one piece of news is, is awesome because you can really make it visually appealing. Um, let me see. Uh, let's say here's another thing you can do. Let's say you published a, a news post and now you want to share it, right? Well, how do you do it right now? You probably maybe send out newsletters, uh, maybe PDFs or whatever it is, right? Well, you no longer need to do it. You can just publish it on, on your, uh, on, on your SharePoint site and you can send it by email, all right? So you can actually send it to your colleagues uh, and, um, um, you know, distribute your news there. And the cool thing is um, they will get an email, they will click on the link and they will go directly, you know, essentially the link will bring them to this particular page, this particular uh, post. So that's another cool thing you can do. A couple of other things. Uh, let me click the edit button again. Click the little pencil. Remember every web part, right? Every web part in SharePoint uh, has this uh, additional settings uh, to the left of it. If you click on the little pencil, it shows you the additional settings related uh, to this particular web part. And here's what you can do, uh, you know, uh, here is what you can do with this particular one. First of all, we can, uh, we can either publish the news on this particular site or we can aggregate news from other sites. So that's very cool, right? Uh, you can be very selective and maybe you want to surface up news from other sites uh, um, that you have published. That's pretty amazing. So you can aggregate the news, um, you know, any way you want. You can change layouts. You see, I have, you can change layouts. 
so they take a little bit you know i guess less uh, real estate on your screen here we go so you can test that out you can filter it maybe you only want to surface news that contain particular keyword uh, there are some additional uh, you know i guess the parameters how you can filter it and another cool thing you can do you can actually organize right remember it by default it appears in chronological order but you know what i really want to change it a little bit i want my uh, q4 results to appear on top uh, and the the news are just published on the bottom so you can actually click here and look at this you can drag and drop just like this you see these are the different positions of your news articles so i can just i can just change the order any way i want here we go and now um let's give it let's give it a try here we go look at this my news article my main you know news article i've had published previously now appears on top again all right and of course you will need to resave the changes every time you make uh, the change one last thing I want to show you uh, applies to uh, hub sites. If you're using hub sites, right, uh, and I actually have written a blog post on this and, and publish, published a video on what hub sites are. But in case if you're using hub sites, I'll, I'll show you another cool thing um, that you have um, related to the news module. Uh, here, here I have my hub. This is my hub. Uh, here is my hub navigation menu. Uh, but that's not what we're after here today. I have my company news, essentially the news uh, web part appearing over here again. And if I click the edit button and the little pencil on the left, look at this. I have an additional option where I can aggregate news from all the sites in my hub. So that's very, very convenient. If you build a hub, maybe like an internet hub, right, and connect it to all the different department sites and HR, you know, sites and all the other sites that you have in your hub, every time someone publishes uh, some news announcements on their respective sites, all the news will be aggregated automatically uh, if you choose this particular radio button. All right, so that's very, very convenient. Very, very convenient to kind of aggregate and, uh, and, and roll up news uh, within the hub. All right. So I think that's pretty much it, and I think that's everything I wanted to show you uh, related to the uh, related to the news web part um, uh, in modern SharePoint. There are many other things, by the way, you can do uh, with this. You can actually assign metadata uh, to the pages. We can assign metadata to the pages and tag uh, the pages or articles. In our case, with different categories, I published a blog post on that, so you know you can obviously check it out. Uh, in your spare time. But with that being said, I think we're done and uh, hopefully you learned something new today. Uh, and I hope to see you again on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.